Okay, so now we've now that we've gone over the power rule, we'll go over a few more um, rules for derivatives. And some of these you're just going to have to memorize, but really, if you if you learn them, they're not too bad. And once you use them for you know a few times, you just they, you just remember them. So uh, if you'll recall, the derivative of x was one because if you you can think of that as x to the one, and the derivative of that you're going to bring that one down. So it's 1 times x, and then drop that, that power, it's to the 0. Well, 1 times x to the 0 is equal to 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. So that was a power, power rules example, even though you wouldn't traditionally think of x as a power series, or a power function, or, you know, a function that is a power, I don't know. So um, now we're going to go into multiplying by constants. So the derivative of x was 1, so d dx of x is equal to 1. What's d dx of 5x? Well, it's 5. If you have your original fun f x equals 1, or f of x equals 1 looks like that, so the slope is 1. f of x equals 5x looks like that. It's 5 times as steep, so you get 5 times the slope. It's the same thing for 5x squared. It's uh, That's 10x. The derivative of 5x squared is 10x. You drink 2 times 5, drop the exponent, so you get x to the 1. Uh, same thing, you just multi constants just multiply the derivative. Um, when you go to uh, something else, let's say you're doing uh, two functions that are multiplied. So you have f of x times g of x. This is called the product rule, and it's one that you're just kind of going to have to memorize. The derivative of f of x times g of x is not f prime of x g prime of x unfortunately that would be too easy it is f of x times g prime of x plus f prime of x g of x so if you notice you had the original function then the derivative then the other original function, right there, and its derivative. So the, the way that uh, I learned it and the way that's easy to remember is that the derivative of u times v is u, whoops, u dv plus v du. Or uh, I guess, yeah, that's how I wrote it. Um, if you flip those, if you flip these two things, that's how I wrote it. But you have to do one, the derivative of the other, the other, the derivative of the first one. Um, so let's do a quick example of that. Add another page. So the derivative of, of x squared times x cubed, and of course, I guess I guess that'll be an easy way to check it. x cubed times x squared is equal to. So the derivative of x squared is 2x, and then you leave the other function untouched, and then you add, you would do x squared times the derivative of x cubed, which is 3x squared by the original that is supposed to be squared. So if you combine those, you've got 2x to the fourth uh, plus 3x to the fourth, which is equal to 5x to the fourth. Um, now, if you were to, the other way to do it would be to combine them originally, and it would come down to x squared times x cubed is x to the fifth, and we could just use product rule and see that the derivative of x to the fifth is 5x to the fourth. These are the same thing. So we got it two different ways showing how product rule works. However, you could see if I would have just multiplied the derivatives, it would have been 2x times 3x squared, and that wouldn't have given us the right answer. Uh, the next ex instance is when you have functions that are divided. So, oops, the derivative with respect to x of f of x over g of x is equal to, and the way I learned it was just a little, a little mnemonic, or not mnemonic, but a little tune. So, um, it's low d high, low d high, derivative of high, minus high d low, so g prime, sorry I'm getting off into the corner here, 
minus high d low all over low squared. Low d high minus high d low over low squared. So let's do an example. d dx of, and again, something that would be obvious, but just to show the utility of the tool, x cubed over x would equal to low times 3x squared, that's the derivative of x cubed, minus high, which is x cubed, um, d low, the derivative of x is 1, all over the bottom squared, x squared. So we've got 3x, if you uh, combine your terms, you've got 3x cubed minus x cubed over x squared, which is equal to 2x cubed over x squared, which is equal to uh, 2x. Uh, not surprisingly, if you were to rewrite this as um, just x squared, because you'd be dividing that x, and you were to take the derivative, you would get 2x. So that is the uh, quotient rule. Um, and the other uh, kind of simple rule to follow is that the derivative of the, not the inverse, but the reciprocal of a function, so I'll keep doing that, the uh, ddx of 1 over f of x is equal to um, negative f prime of x over f of x squared. So kind of the the iconic one to remember about that is that d dx of 1 over x is equal to negative 1 over x squared. So we have that x, the, the negative derivative of it, so negative derivative of x is negative 1. So derivative of x is 1. When you take the negative of it, you get negative 1. And then squared, you get x squared. Uh, the other way you could look at it is to write 1 over x as x to the negative 1 and do the power rule. So you would drop down that negative 1, just like you did with positive exponents. You would get negative 1x to the, and then negative 1, you still drop the power by 1 to the negative 2, which is equal to negative 1 over x squared. So we did that using, you could also do a quotient rule that here is, here is with the product rule, here is with the, uh, the special case for reciprocals. Uh, you could do quotient rule, but basically you can see that that's how you would do it. And then uh, really quickly, we can go over some notation for when you take second or third derivatives. So let's say we start with x to the fourth, and we want to know, oh, jeez, x to the fourth, and we want to know what d dx is. Well, that's 4x cubed and that's equal to f prime of x. Now what if we wanted the second derivative with respect to x? Well, uh, if you wanted to do that, you would do d dx squared of x to the fourth, which is equal to the derivative with respect to x of the, and sorry, I should write d squared dx squared, um, d dx of d dx of x to the fourth, which, so if you take the derivative of this, you would get 4 times 3 is 12x squared. And that is equal to, the other way of writing that, what I'm showing is notation, is f double prime of x. You could keep going. I could write d cubed dx cubed, and that would be 24x. And, that, and you can either write this as f triple prime of x, or you could write... The, once you get higher than 3 or 2, usually what you end up doing is you write f to the you know, fourth or fifth or n of x. So you just write the number there. But that's just some quick notation for further derivatives. Um, for more in-depth practice, you'll probably want to do some homework problems, do what you did in class. Um, but this is all I'm going to show. If you really want some more complex uh, examples, I can do them and put up an example thing. Um, but we will be moving on, I think, in the next video. All right, see you guys.